كان يوم يعني مليان مشاعر مختلفة يعني قبل ما الحفلة تبدأ كان كله رعب خوف وبعد لما الحفلة بدأت والأعلام بدأت تترفع كنت حاسس قد إيه إحنا أقوياء يعني كان في قوة كان في باور كان في إمباورمنت and you made history of course yeah yeah so that was like a lot of feelings Yeah, but it was amazing. Like, <laughs> that's why I was smiling because I didn't expect that. Like for my whole life, I've never expected, and and it happened. And for a moment, I found myself the one who, like, one of the people who did that, who made it. It took time to to get uh, on the media, like, uh, but it start on Facebook and uh, social media first. Like when we got out of the concert, I remember my my best friend. She opened her like she checked her uh, Facebook. She said that it's already on the media. <laughs> and yeah, and we checked the article and we found a photo for ourselves. Raise the rainbow, raising the rainbow flag. The most important thing that I have been thinking about that we took action. We were not victims anymore. Before the concert, we were just victims. We were reading about ourselves on the newspaper that um, a gay person uh, got killed, got arrested. A gay person, you know, we were victims. And then the whole society, the whole community were speaking about that the gay people raised the rainbow flag in a concert in the middle of Cairo. Everything changed. My persona changed. <laughs> like, like, I came to this country, I just had my narrative. You know what does it mean? I wasn't able to communicate with the people. I had no college degree, so I'm not qualified to work as in, like, to find a job directly. And I I had no family, I had no friends, I don't know anything about Canada. So Ab ended up moving in with us. He came by the house one night, he looked around and he says, yeah, I'm moving in here. <laughs> and that was what, that was about two, two and a half After years ago? After I heard story. Two years ago? <laughs> and he hasn't left. <laughs> one thing I appreciate the most about having, I'm not going to cry, but having uh, everyone who's been here including yourself and Syrians and people who haven't lived there just become our friends, is they made this house a home, right? If not, it would just be two guys living together and a cat. That's boring. 